This is question two. We're given y is equal to x over the square root of the quantity 1 plus x. In part a, we're asked to complete the table below with the value of y corresponding to x is equal to 1.3, giving our answer to four decimal places. All we need to do is sub this into a calculator. So we'll have 1.3 over the square root of 1 plus 1.3, which is going to be 2.3. That gives me 0 0.857194 and so on and so forth. We need this to four decimal places, so it'll be 0 0.8572. So one mark for part A, all we need to do is write this value now to four decimal places. In part B, it says use the trapezium rule with all of the values of Y in the completed table to obtain an approximate value for the integral from 1 to 1.5 of x over the square root of 1 plus x with respect to x, giving our answer to three decimal places. We must show clearly each stage of our working. The question carries four marks. So what we're going to do is use the trapezium rule. Informally, we can write this now as h over 2. If we look now, we've got a difference of 0 0.1. So we can write it as 0 0.1 over 2. We have the first value, which is going to be 0 0.7071, plus the last value, which is going to be 0 0.9487, plus two lots now of all of the other values added together. So we'll have 0 0.7591, plus 0 0.8. 8090 plus 0 0.8572 plus 0 0.9037. So all we need to do is sum this in a calculator. So I'm going to put it through the calculator and we're going to have now 0 0.1 divided by 2 multiplied now by the quantity 0 0.7071 plus now 0.9487 plus two lots of the quantity 0 0.7591. Then we're going to have now plus the 0 0.8090 plus the 0 0.8572. So 8572 plus now 0 0.9037. If we close the bracket off, that's going to give us now 0 0.41569. So we can say this is going to be approximately equal to 0. Point, and just plug in this in, 41569, 41569. We need to give this now to three decimal places. Therefore, we're going to have 0. 0.4. One six, and that's given to three decimal places. So what we've done here is simply use the trapezium rule. It's half multiplied now by the strip width, which is 0 0.1, multiplied by the first plus the last plus two lots of what's left, added up in the middle, and then we've given our answer to three decimal places. Four marks in total.